What's up guys, welcome back to our Road to Dark Aether series. On our last episode, our top comment was from Keegan saying he wants us to do the LW3, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, here's our camo progress for the LW3. I've been playing a lot of zombies. I've just been going and playing and rewatching Breaking Bad while I do it. Uh, it takes a while. I've probably played somewhere between you know seven to 12 games just with the LW3. It's not very difficult, it's just time consuming. Uh, we have everything done except for our criticals and we're only like 200 something away. I don't know. Math's not my strong suit. You know, they're not very difficult. It just takes so long to get the 2,500 kills. I will always have everything from vintage down to infection done before I'm even like to these last two camos for the first three. So I don't know what the deal is with that. They just take forever to do. It's very mind numbing, but we're almost done with it. Uh, people are saying the snipers are some of the hardest to get done, but we're almost done with one of them. I have been leveling up my Pellington a bit and by leveling up, I mean getting camos done for it. Uh, these are the attachments. I've been using for the Tundra. I just have this Cobra red dot on because, you know, you don't get a whole lot of space between you and the zombies. So it makes it a little easier to hit criticals. I have the wrap suppressor. Uh, it gives me more equipment. I really like to use the attachments that use that drop more salvage and equipment and things like that. Uh, Tiger team barrel just more damage. Ember sighting point gives me a hip fire plus more salvage. Bruiser grip, we need to move a little bit faster. I'm using the speed loader. I know it slows down ADS time, but of reloading quick is very important for zombies especially with things with small mags and i know when you pack a punch it gives you more ammo in the magazine so the ammo count in the mag doesn't really matter too much uh, only in early rounds i just want to be able to reload fast plus the perks it just makes it super quick i have the airborne elastic wrap just to get ads speed up and the raider pad to increase our sprint to fire now since i've been playing a lot i've upgraded a lot too uh here's our weapon classes i've upgraded launchers specials subs shotguns pistols tack rifles i got sniper up to four so i can have more attachments plus the armor penetration uh light machine guns i got up a little bit i can probably upgrade more i'll do that later this is for the people in the back everyone who's been telling me to upgrade my melee i know if i upgrade my melee it'll instant kill and it instant kills till around like around 11 but the reason i'm not doing it is for classes like the launchers in the specials where you don't have too much ammo with it in starting rounds and melee kills will instant kill anyways or be close to that those count for camos melee kills with that so unless somebody shows me video evidence of somebody with an upgraded melee using that and getting camos for their primary weapon i will upgrade my melee but until i finish my launch and my specials i'm keeping my melee as is and i will use gun butt because that helps with the camos speaking of getting melee camos i went ahead and i was like okay launchers were hard in multiplayer they're probably gonna be hard in zombies so let me just get a head start on this in case somebody suggests to do it in one game i played one game with a sigma just one. I'm so close to getting it gold. I almost accidentally got it gold without even knowing. Camos were just flying by. The launchers are super easy. Basically what I was doing was just running around meleeing up until I could get it. Up until I had to launch rockets. And when I did, I would just train. I would run around. I would just train until they're in a big group, shoot it, and they're all gone in one, one rocket. So launchers are very easy. If you want to suggest a Sigma and get me done with it, uh, that's on you guys. Otherwise, it's going to sit here mostly done. You guys want to see how I did it. Uh, I can show you in the video, but that's that's no, neither here nor there. But uh, back to my skills that are upgraded, my field upgrades. I have my Aether Shroud at four. Uh, I'll probably upgrade it later in the future. It's hard to get the Flawless Crystals. They're not hard. It just takes a while. My perks, everything's upgraded, basically. Uh, tombstone can go up one. Same with Deadshot. Deadshot, I'll prioritize. But Stamina, Quick Revive, Speed Cola, and Juggernog are all level five. My ammo mods, I've upgraded Deadwire. Uh, I haven't seen it affect my camos too much. So I've only been putting it on when I get towards like the later rounds and 20s uh, just to help out a little bit. But yeah, uh, I basically have a lot of what we need upgraded. Still saving the melees for later. But that's enough talk. Let's get into the game. Here we go again. Me and my twin rolling in. Basically just an Uber because we never see him again. And uh, in the last episode, I, mis I mispronounced Maxis as Maxi. I couldn't remember the name. I knew it was close i was close but like i said before i'm not too into zombies lore i don't know really what's going on i know jfk was in it that's about it where's my loose change bitch there it is let's go to the teleporter i really just hate being in the starting area anywhere past like round three i always just get out of it the second i have enough it's so much easier just to train over here plus we can do trials before we open doors and stuff and i actually did have you know i said trials you know you can come up you can redeem it and keep going i had no idea you could do multiple trials and keep leveling up your rewards so i was wrong on that so i've been i've been doing that a little bit uh first time i got it to legendary i got a ray k first try other times i've gotten like perks uh, I think I've gotten elemental pop from it, so it's not, you know, it's not exactly what you want, but I mean, free perks are free perks and, uh, speed
speaking of that, I also haven't been doing the Easter egg very much to get the free jug. Because a lot of the time, like, you know, like I said earlier, I hate... Oh my gosh, I'm missing all these shots. There we go. Like I said earlier, I hate being in that starting area unless there's like one or two zombies left because you just get mobbed so easy. And to do that Easter egg, I've found that I have to do it like in between rounds while there's no zombies there to even get the stupid bunny to look at me. So it's not really worth the effort. I mean, it, it gives you a lot of stuff. You get like a secondary weapon, you get, you know, free jug, you get a bunch of parts and everything. I don't know. I think I'd rather just spend the two and a half thousand if I get it first or... 4,000 if I grab other perks before that. It's not that big of a deal, especially if I'm just grinding because while you're, while I'm in there, you know, it, it wastes some time. I, lo I like how in, you know, most maps they do have... Oh, I just bought ammo. That's great. I love how most maps do have an option to get you free jug just by doing the Easter egg, but uh, sometimes it's just not worth the effort. I don't feel like doing it. Let's do one trial before we open these doors to see what we get. Take damage and recover health. Literally the most boring one. Hit me. Hit me again. One more time. Okay. Hit me. Thank you. But, you know, doing these trials, it's it's kind of worth the extra salvage. It's almost like paying for extra salvage and, like, parts and things so we can upgrade the gun easier. Sometimes it, it will give you essence. Like, you can almost get your essence back for it. And then, you know, like, it'll give you double points or max ammo or carpenter or something. As long as it's not, like, a stupid challenge like one of these... It's, it's most of the time worth it. Like the most goaded challenge, if you don't open any of these doors, is to just, uh, it'll just say, uh, kill enemies or kill zombies on the helipad, which is the only area you can be at, basically. So it's just, it just gives you rewards for playing. Let's get the extra points from that. Okay. Normally I would leave this and, uh, level it up later, but I'm just going to snag this off the bat. All right, we're going to do the middle one first. Some people are saying not to open the middle door. Well, I just don't care. I'm going straight for, what is this, speed cola over here? Speed cola is very helpful. We're going to come over here. First, we're going to grab our loose change. There we go. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Turn this on. I really prefer the turning on the power and die machine. Mostly because I've been trying to do it with a sniper. And you get fucking asshole zombies like that run out of ammo quickly i don't know that's just kind of annoying that's not too difficult though but you got to do it three times we're almost there now we're done okay now we can buy our speed cola i like opening it up this way first because it'll you know it gives the power over here you can use the male mannequin guy do we actually have enough to upgrade our gun we do we'll upgrade it once okay then we do this one. This one will give us stamina up after we get the power on. Well, it won't give us it. Uh, we can buy it. Oh, I don't have enough money. Who's going to come make Papa some money? There we go. I need a little more cash. Okay, let's go get our loose change. Thank you. Wait, do you get... Does double points affect loose change? That's kind of cool. I don't know if I saw that or not. I went by pretty quick. I wasn't paying too much attention, but I think that said 200. So double points and loose change... Kind of pog. I do say so myself. Where are the zombies at? I wonder if you just leave this area. Will zombies still spawn over here to hit it? Or will they completely leave you? Or what's going on? Because if I were to go all the way to a different, like, power generator, would they still come in and, like, attack this one? If there, if a bear shits in the woods and no one's around to smell it, did he really do it? Did that really not kill all of them? Oh, reload. I don't have ammo, so you guys can have a nade. And that's enough. Give me that. Get off me. Okay, let's get our stamina up. We gotta be getting close to gold. Oh, we don't have enough yet. Okay, well, I guess I'll take my parts, and I will stay here until we have enough. Insta-kill, that's what we like to see. Okay, let's buy it. Easy crits. Oops. Oops. I'm just so inaccurate sometimes. All right, right there, that one definitely should have hit. These guys bob and weave like crazy. They float like a butterfly. Can I up... I can upgrade it now, okay. Holy shit, that mimic actually kind of scared me. Shoot it in the mouth. Ooh, free armor, and we take that. And ammo. Let's go get the next one open and on. Oh, we don't have enough, okay. Come here, Mr. Zombie. Goodbye. Hey, sniper rifle master. See, I have 5,000 kills with the snipers and zombies, and I don't have any of them gold. Granted, I am close with the LW3, but it's ridiculous just the amount of kills you need to get. All right, I guess I'll, I'll run around here until I have enough. 
Loop around. Grab that. Let me get the fuck out of here. There's a glitch spot like right here that I've noticed where zombies will get stuck sometimes. It's kind of, I don't know how to trigger it. I think just when training around, sometimes they get like bunched together and one will get stuck in a spot where it's not supposed to be. But I have seen zombies just straight up stand there and they won't do anything. You can even get close to them and they won't attack you. This is ridiculous. Get off me. Hey, you guys can have the C4. What the? F How are these no scopes missing? I'm barrel stuffing them. Uh oh, we're getting a lot of damage so early on this. There we go. Okay, let's grab our loose change while we have a little bit of a break. We almost have enough for jug, but for now, as we're going to be saving up for jug and pack, we're just going to be sitting up here. I think buying it. Can you get sentry guns in this? I've seen them as like mimic drops or like the fake drops. I think putting a sentry here facing this window and then just chilling right here would be perfect. That way you don't have to worry about your back. It's just so easy here. Easy collats. Oh my. How do I miss so many shots in a row? Hey. Hey. Bad. Bad. There we go. Look at all this shit. It's like a monkey bomb. Okay, we have enough for Jug. We gotta be close on crits. And we're gonna train out here for a little bit. So we have enough to pack a punch. And then I think we're chilling until like next round when we can exfil. I'm gonna try to get enough crits before then. There we go. Need some more ammo. That's the worst thing about these snipers. Unless you got them pack a punch. They just run out of ammo so quick. There we go. We have enough to pack. Probably should have left that last one to do it, but I think we can squeeze it in. Go do that. Give me that. Okay. 146. I feel like we're close. We can't be more than 50 away. Oh, shit. Buy Mimic. Easy salvage. Give me that. Bonus points. Gotta really focus my crits here. That way we can get out on this exfil. Let me see if I can try to get that zombie stuck in this spot. It's like right by this wood. They all kind of run through it. Maybe it's patched. But after a while, they'll just blow up anyways. So it's not like you can get one stuck there and go do whatever you want on the map. But for for a little bit, you can. Like, it's not permanently stuck. It'll be stuck for a little. And people were saying, uh, since I was talking about doing the, the first door skip with, uh, like, Aether Shroud and how the other climbing method was patched. People were saying to do the pile-up glitch. I have no idea what that is. So if somebody wants to explain that to me... That'd be pretty cool. Because I would love to just not pay first door. Oh, we don't have enough crits. Okay. We might have to wait till next evac then. Unless it's going to pop up now. Nope. Guess we're chilling here for a bit. We do have enough to get more perks. We'll get that next round. We're saving up our salvage to level this bad boy up. Maybe we can get it during this round. Also, people were saying uh, to play with controller. Because the aim assist is kind of crazy on zombies. You can get uh, crits really easy. Where That's probably true. But I feel like my movement on controller would be so bad compared to me being able to move on keyboard and mouse. I haven't picked up the sticks for a COD game since like World War II. So I'd probably be awful. But if that's something you guys want to see for a multiplayer video, let me know. So I'd be down to try it. Actually, you know what? I might record that after this. I'm going to pick up these stuns over a monkey bomb. All right. Let's grab our perks, our perky workies. Get dead shot, quick revive, and we're out of here. Yeah, my movement would definitely be way worse on a controller. Huh. Yeah, I think I'm just severely bad at math if we're, we don't have our crits done yet. Come on. Show me it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We finally have the LW3 gold that feels like ages, dude. Absolutely forever to get these done. I don't think they're that challenging. I'm sure the M82 is like really tough because of how slow it is. But yeah, we got this done. We're close on the Pellington. We're close on the Sigma. Okay, when's the next exfil round? In like two rounds from now? What can I do? Let's see if I can upgrade some shit at the mannequin. Wait, you can upgrade your fists? Get off me. Can you actually upgrade your fists? I'm going to try it. Oh, no, you can't. There we go. Max ammo. Just in time. 
Or quick question for any of you guys named Justin out there. Do you guys say it's Justin time? And then, you know, giggle a little bit. Because you're like, hey, that's my name. So I feel like I would do that. So I do that when I hear like Cup of Joe or Sloppy Joe or anything to do with Joe. Besides my mama. Keep my mama's name out your mouth. I'm serious. Why am I even still trying to go for crits? Let's just get kills. You know what? Let's see if we can get all these zombies with one C4. Get them all trained together. Some of these guys are really slow. Okay, stun them. There we go. We have one crawler. Look at the little guy. Goodbye. Fuck okay, it. We got we have all these points. Let's hit the box. See what we get. So we've had awful box lock. Oh, of course. Again, we already have gold. Next. Let me try again. Let's see if we can get something we don't already have gold. Okay, 1911. We'll try it out. Actually, I think a good idea for zombies is to hit the box and then do whatever weapon I get in the box for a video. I think that would be pretty fun. But it's always, at the end of the day, it's up to you guys. I like uh, I like to have the interaction where you guys pick what I do next. Even if it is for my pain and suffering. I'm going to use this to take out this mimic, though. Oops. Pistols kind of look fun to do. I'm going to go... Hold on, let's do this. Stay still. Take that. Easy salvage. I'm going to go pack a punch this thing. There we go. It's just called pain? No way. That perfectly describes my feelings trying to get this sniper gold. Oh, there's an assault wave. Okay, what I do on assault waves for snipers, I will literally just stand here until I see where they're coming from, and I'll jump down and then try to collide them as they're coming out in a straight line. I'm gonna try to speed run this assault wave. Okay, portal should be opening up in about three, two, one. There we go. I was a little off there. Okay, which one are they coming out of? Right. Okay, the other one's going off now. Dude, guns with good fire rates seem like so much fun in zombies. I feel like I've only put myself through pain so far. There we go. Okay, let's go exfil. Let's do this. I guess we can't afford anything besides that. We do have a cruise missile, but I guess it don't matter. This is the worst part. If I don't get to the exile site fast enough, it's hard to even get through the door here. There we go. Kind of just have to train them out. I'll use this time to get some kills for my 1911. Holy. Yeah, just aim head height and hip fire. That's ridiculous. That was easy as hell. I don't think I've ever really had trouble exfilling, at least on this map. It seems really, really easy. Easy refined crystal. All right, let's see what this thing looks like in Golden Viper. That's what it looks like in Gold Viper. Looks terrible. I I am not a fan of Golden Viper. Plague Diamond doesn't look too much better. But Dark Aether is where it's at. So go ahead and leave your suggestions on what weapon you want to see me do next. The top comment will be the weapon that we use in the next video. But if you want to see another Zombies video come out faster... Either the Pellington or the Sigma are good choices because I already have a bit done for them. But e either way, I'll do what you guys suggest. Uh, if you like the video and you want to see more, leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike. Uh, make sure you sub if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Later.